Hydroponic growers can grow their own transplants very easily, whether they have a greenhouse to grow them in or even want to grow some around the house. I'm going to show you today several different options that are available to growers, whether they want to grow just a few transplants or even several hundred or a few thousand. The first thing, if you just wanted to grow a few around the house, you can purchase a material that is actually a compressed peat pellet, and when you add water to it, it swells up the peat and you can insert the seed into the top of this peat material known as in this case a Jiffy 7. Very easy to do, you can just do a few if you would like on a little tray on a windowsill or even in the greenhouse. The next material that is more commercially used would be one known as rock wool. Rock wool is a basalt rock that's stranded into fibers, produces an excellent sterile medium that really holds water well. And in this case, they're pre-cut so that they tear apart individually and also a pre-drilled hole in the top of each cube where the seed is placed. In this case, we've got a few lettuce transplants that are just a few days off from being ready to put into one of our hydroponic demonstrations in the greenhouse. And this is the mixture that we're going to be using of specialty greens and even some basil ready to go in one of our systems. The next option a grower might have would be a foam based material also manufactured with pre-drilled holes in the top of the foam. The seed is placed inside just like we do in rock wool and then it doesn't necessarily need to be covered. We just make sure that we've got good seed contact with the foam or rock wool and keep it wet and the seed will germinate and grow in there. Also here we have the same lettuce transplants just about ready to go. You can see the roots coming down through the bottom and will be an excellent little transplant to go into our system over there. We're going to be using in this case the lettuce in foam for our nutrient film technique system. The foam materials are very popular among nutrient film technique growers with lettuce and herbs. If you want to grow many transplants in individual trays, then we're going to work today with Wanda Laughlin here at the North Florida Research and Education Center that manages the greenhouses. And Wanda does an excellent job of growing the transplants here and is going to share with us a few tips that she's learned over her experiences. And I see, Wanda, you've got a, a couple of trays set up here. If you would kind of walk us through what you would normally do in preparing the soil and the seeding, uh, for these transplants. Okay, Bob. The trays that we use mainly at the center are styrofoam trays that have a disposable insert and these come in a various array of sizes. This tray that we have in front of us is a 200 cell. It's a one inch cell and has 200 per tray. These, this, the media that we use for these trays is a germinating mix or what's commonly referred to as a starter mix and it's very fine. This is our mix. It's comprised of peat, perlite, and small vermiculite. And because it is so fine, we want to wet these liners first so our media does not fall through the bottom of our tray. Once the tray is wet, we want to take our scoop and fill each cell, top them off. Once that's done, we want to wet these in, and then we're ready to do our seeds. So once you've got it, the material wetted in, as you have here, I, I, I know that it will tend to compress down just a little bit. And so if you want to get all of these seed at the proper depth, what would be some of the options of preparing to place the seed in the trays? Well, if you were going to do a, a large number of trays, Bob, we have what is called a dibbler. And these come in a, in a wide variety of sizes as well. They, they're built to match each tray. This is a 200 cell dibbler. We want to run it across and run it back, and that'll give us a uniform depth on all of our cells. In this case, it's about a quarter inch. Okay, and then once you got the, the depression at the proper depth, in this case, we've got a couple of different seed options. I know all the crops that we're growing, you've got some that are very small seeds and some that are pretty large. Uh, help us sort through how you would place the seed in these individual trays, some of the options that a grower might have available to them. Okay, for large seeds, we have sunflower seeds to demonstrate with. These are large enough you can just hold them in your hand and drop one per cell or two. And you can later go and thin if you need to. For small seed like lettuce seed, we use what is called a seeder. It runs on a battery and it vibrates. So you can very gently drop one or two seeds per cell. 
and that works for large scale. For small scale, I like to use, this is a small spoon, and I just tap them in with my finger. I think if I was going to be doing this, I could probably handle the sunflower, Wanda, but I know I'd need to have some of your devices to help me if I was going to place it in there myself, as small as that lettuce seed is. And of course, if you just have a few seed and you want to take the risk of only putting one in there, that's okay, but the double seeding, you would go back later and thin it down to one in most cases where you're only looking for one transplant. Yes. Once you get the seed in here, I see you've got your topping material here and kind of demonstrate that to us. Well, some seeds are, are very large and they're going to require being covered. They'll also float, so we want to cover them for that reason. Some seeds need to be kept from having light and they'll be covered for that reason. Other seeds are very small and very fine and they don't need to be covered. In the case of covering, we use horticultural grade vermiculite. It's very fine and we'll put a very shallow layer on top of our seeds. Just to cover it and top it in so that when we we then wet it to finish it off and we're ready to go. Yes, you want to use a very, a very fine mist of water. You don't want to flood your seeds out of your tray. Excellent. I see beside us here we've got a, another style of container. It just has a plastic insert for larger containers and we've got a master gardener program coming up I know and you've got some herbs and lettuces and crops ready to demonstrate to that class in a few weeks. And so we can go from very small cubes, like in some of these, all the way up to something maybe even two, three, or four inches, depending on the kind of crop and transplant that we want to be able to grow. Well, Wanda, thank you very much. I know if we get off to a good start with a good, healthy transplant, we'll have a successful crop. Thank you. Thank you.